Hello, Steve Samuel from Design Visionaries here, and I'd like to delight you with a little video about the Animation Designer. I've created a little mechanism here. It's a little cam here, and there's a little pin that follows that cam, a little crank that turns the cam, and a slider that should go up and down as the cam turns. So uh, just to show you the pieces, I have created a assembly sequence and with the assembly sequence tool you can create a nice little explosion so to speak. You can see how all the pieces uh, come together or I should say explode out. There's a little cam and there's the slider and there's a little belt. So uh, what we're trying to do is uh, create a motion if you will where you uh, turn the crank, uh, the belt turns the cam, uh, the cam uh, forces this little pin to go in this little groove, and of course the pin is locked to this slider. Now, uh, before I jump into it, I'd like to show you that the cam, I call it the cam with the pulley, let's just get into that for a second, how that was made and uh, basically I've got this curve it's a sinusoidal curve that was wrapped onto the cylinder and then there was a uh, there was a uh, section created and a section was driven along that path in order to create the sinusoid I had to do a law curve control E and the law curve had a uh, certain certain values. Uh, we started with t equals 1. We had a uh, n value. n is the number of humps, if you will, the number of turns uh, or the number of lobes of the sinusoid. h is 20. That's the uh, amplitude of the whole thing. And uh, then we had uh, xt is 30 times pi times t. That means in the x-ray we're going 30 which is the diameter of the cylinder times pi is the circumference times t and then the yt is 15 uh, which is the height the starting height or I should say the mid height and um, h over 2 is the amplitude divided by 2 times the sine of t times the number of lobes times 360 and zt is uh, a radius the diameter of the cylinder is 30 so zt is 15 and that's why the law curve is drawn out here, wrapped, and so on. So that's how the pulley was made. And then I created the assembly. So now with the assembly, I can bring the assembly into the uh, animation designer. And right now I've got these constraints. There's a concentric on that little pin. There's a concentric on the crank concentric constraint uh, down uh, where the where this uh, cam meets this little holder or this little housing and so uh, and then there's a touch and a center so all of these uh, constraints uh, are not animate necessarily animation constraints but we need to turn them into the kinds of things that will help the animation so when we go into the animation designer uh, the very first move, if you go to the animation navigator, you can see that you don't have any rigid groups, no joints, no couplers, no motors, no monitors. Everything is um, set to zero, so to speak. And then when I click on Adopt Assembly Constraints, and it looks, uh, NX looks at all the regular constraints, and it creates a whole bunch of rigid groups, a rigid group for every single component. That's nice. Nice. Here's a fixed joint, so that fixes the whole housing. And then there's the revolute, the revolute, the revolute, the revolute. So all the concentric constraints turned into revolutes. That's nice. There's one slider. Let's see where that is. Let's see if we can. Let's say OK here, and we can see them when we go through them here. So if I click here, it's thinking about it. The slider is right there. That's for this 
for that uh, rigid body. I've got a revolute joint here, I've got a revolute joint here, a revolute, a revolute, a revolute, a revolute. Um, so great. So what I can do now is I can create for uh, this revolute, I can create a uh, position motor just to get the cam working with the slider. So, or I'll do a speed motor. So I'll click on the speed motor and I'll select the revolute joint that I want to uh, uh, put, put a motor on. That's this one. And I'm going to put a speed there, maybe um, 20 degrees per second. And wait a second, this is kind of uh, selected too many things. I'm a little nervous. So let me just do another speed motor. And I'm going to select, I think it was Revolute Joint 6. This one down here, right. This is the one I wanted. Um, and I'm going to put, like I said, 20, uh, 20 um, uh, 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 degrees per second there. And say OK. All right. So now that I've done that, I can play it. And as you can see, the the uh, cam is going around at a slow rate of speed, but it's OK. So I'm going to stop that. I just wanted to know that I had it. And then in order to make the pin, this little pin here, follow this cam, I need um, a point and a curve. So I'm actually going to go to the wireframe display for this. I'm going to say rendering style, static wireframe. And I'm going to say control W. And I'm going to bring back my pin, my uh, points. So there's a little point right there. And I'm going to bring back my curves. And so there's a curve, um, this one here that was mapped onto the, uh, onto the cam. And uh, this is the uh, original sinusoid. I think I'll blank that. So I'll say Control B, and I'll go and filter for curves and just hide that. I use the term blank because that's what the hide and show used to be called in the old days. <laughs> kind of dates me, I know. Uh, but I'm proud of it. So now I go to the joint command, <clears throat> and with the joint command, I can do a point on curve. So the first thing I'm going to do is select the motion object, and that's going to be the pin. And then I'm going to select the curve. That's the curve. And then the little point that follows that curve is that one there. And say OK. All right, so let's, let's test out that little piece of, I almost call it programming, and see, as you can see, it works. Let's do that. So that is how to create a kind of joint that follows this curve. OK. In the next video, I'll show you how to make a relationship between these two pulleys with this belt. But for this one, it's the it's the uh, it's the speed motor and the point on curve joint. So that's a very nice way to do that. I'd like to see this sped up, wouldn't you? So let's stop that for a second. Let's edit the speed motor. And let's put maybe 300. So now it'll go like crazy and play. Yeah. Nice. In uh, animations to follow, I will show you how to get the crank working, the belt, um, do a whole bunch of things that are very exciting about the animation designer. So this is just the first in a series, let's say. And um, thank you for watching. Again, this is Steve Samuel from Design Visionaries. And there's plenty more of these little videos on our YouTube channel, the Design Visionaries YouTube channel. And uh, give us a little, a little ping. Um, definitely uh, hit the like button if you have learned something. And uh, keep in touch. Thank you.